Uh, now we will start our uh, question answer session and for that purpose I would just I'm going to give you a, a, a brief uh, bit of information. We will first start with the, uh, with the sisters and give them the opportunity to ask their questions and after, that, after they have finished uh, uh, with their questions then we will move to the, uh, the brothers. Um, and if time permitting and if there are any questions uh, that we can entertain from Pal Talk, uh, which, is, uh, which are the people who are listening online, then we will also entertain some questions from, uh, from uh, viewers and listeners on Pal Talk. So I'll open uh, the floor to uh, the questions and I will request uh, the sisters if you can have your questions ready and we will have our administrators who will give you the mic and you're requ requested to uh, ask a question on that. So if the first question. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Mr. Sheikh. My name is Mrs. Zaheer. I would like to make a question, please. Um, as you translated that the Injil is the gospel or the good news, so what were the good news given by Isa, peace be upon him? Okay, this, uh, this uh, normally this translation of uh, Injil is gospel or they translate as glad tidings or good news. So your question is that what was the good news given by Isa Salam, the good news, the, trans the word we are talking about, the tr uh, translation now. Mm -hmm. So if you see, first of all, I would like to give you a biblical understanding about the good news. And that is, uh, you see, normally the Christians, they say, we are not talking about the Bible, we are talking about the Christian scholars or the, the interpreters or who says that Jesus was put up on the cross and he was crucified, crucified, then he died. I'm talking about the theologians. And then he died and he was resurrected on the third day and met the disciples. So if the Christians, the Paul says, if the Christians believe that Jesus died on the cross and then he was resurrected on the third day and met the disciples, if you believe that, he will take all your sins so that is the good news the Christian preacher is preaching the Christian world, not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. It is the Christians, preachers are preaching. You Muslims have to believe or the Christians has to believe that Jesus died on the cross and he has taken all the sins because he was almost like a God-son relationship. I'm not going into detail. That is the good news they are trying to preach us. That is the main focus of a general Christian uh, this thing uh, Christian so now what Quran says you know in Arabic in Arabic there is another word Basharat you know Basharat which also means good news so I refer to in the Quran there is an ayah that's 261 Surat and ayah 6 I am referring to the the, the Bashara loves is is a in the Quran what is the good news Surah Saf 61 ayah says, Wife Kala Isa ibn Maryam, Ya Bani Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum, Musaddiq al lima bayna yadayhi min al Tawrah, Wa Mubashirum bi Rasuli yati min baad ismu Ahmad, Falamma jahum bil bayinat, Kalu hada sihru mubin. Surah Saf 61 and ayah 6. And when Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary said, O children of Israel, Surely I am a messenger of Allah to you, confirming what is between my two hands, from a Torah, the law, and a giver of good news, with a messenger who will come after me, whose name will be Ahmad, most praiseworthy. So when he came to them with clarifications, they say this is a clear magic. In Arabic you say, وَبُمْبَشِّرُمْ بِرَسُولِ yati مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُ Ahmad. So Isa Salam was referring the Basharat or the good news. If you, the, 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 the word Injil is not here. But the good news they translate for Injil, the gospel. Here Allah is saying that Isa Salam says, O children of Israel, I am a messenger to you and I am confirming from the Torah. And I am giving you good news. Mubashiram is a good news giver. Good news. Mubashir, Mubashiram. Bi Rasuli Yati Min Ba'adis Muhammad. I am giving a good news of a messenger coming after me whose name will be Ahmad. So the good news was 
that the messenger is coming after me, his name is Ahmad. That is the good news. So we Muslims, listen to the call of Isa Islam. Because this is referring to Isa Islam. Isa Islam is saying, we believe in the whole book of Allah. And in this whole book of Allah, Isa Islam is saying, a messenger is coming after me and his name is Ahmad. So we believe in the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of the ayat that a messenger came after Isa Islam was Ahmad. So we Muslims heeded to the good news of the Quran, of the Isa Islam. This is a good news. And it is almost similar to this, I will read from the Bible also. It is recorded in, I will reading now Bible, I am reading Bible. John, John 14, 16. I will pray to the Father that he shall give you another comforter that he may abide you forever. Jesus was the comforter when he was in his lifetime. According to the Bible I am reading. John 14, 16, it's not Quran. John 14, 16 verse. I will pray to the Father. That's the language of the Bible. I will pray to the Father that is referring to God. He will shall give you another comforter. He is the comforter when he was there. He will give you, give you another comforter that he may abide you forever. Then further John 16, 7. Jesus says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. That I go away. For I not go away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, the comforter will come unto you. So in the Bible also, Jesus is saying that I will pray to the Father that God will give you another comforter. And it is expedient that I go away. If I not go away, the comforter will not come unto you. If I go, the comforter will come. That is referring to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi According to the Bible, we can say. Then in John 16, 12 to 14, he says, I have yet, Jesus, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but what shall he hear that he shall speak? And he will show you things to come and he shall glorify me. So this is referred to, is the spirit of truth is come. It is referring, Habi, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but what shall he hear that he shall speak. He will show you things to come. This is referring from Jesus, from the Bible point of view, I'm saying that he was referring the spirit of truth. Now I refer to the Quranic ayat again. In, uh, uh, that is referred in Surah 16. You can refer to 16 and Ayah 102. 116. Nahal, Nahal, Surah Nahal, 16 Surah and Ayah 102. Qul nazal, min bil haqqi wa wa bil Say, the Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from your Lord in truth in order to strengthen those who believe and as a guide and a glad tidings, Bushra, good news to the Muslims, to submitters, Lil Muslimin. So again, he said the whole the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into all truth. So Allah says in the Quran, say the Holy Spirit has come to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say the Holy Spirit has brought has, Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from your Lord in truth in order to strengthen those who believe and as a guide and a glad tidings or good news to the Muslims for the Muslims the submitters so it is the Muslims the submitters who have believed in the eyes of Allah and even if you look at the Bible we will see they say the Quran is Allah is talking that the Holy Spirit has brought down the revelation to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is a good news good news a guidance for the Muslim submitters. If they are not submitting, they have left, out, left backward as Christians. We have heeded to the morning. So good news is gospel or in Arabic also the good news word is Bashara. So I have showed you two verses that are referring to good news that was given to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that is Jesus was referring to this good news of coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after him and that message also, the revelation also. Thank you. Sorry. Assalamu alaikum brother chief. Wa alaikum Jazakallah your lecture was very good and very educative. And after listening to your lecture I have a question. With the reference to an ayah in the Holy Quran 
and that is from Surah Nisa 4 and Ayah number 136. Here I recite the Ayah. Auzu billahi mina shaitan irrajim bismillah irrahman irrahim Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu aminu billahi wa rasulihi wal kitabil ladhi nazzala ala rasulihi wal kitabil ladhi anzala min qabl wa man yakfur billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawmil akhir faqad zalla zalalam qayyida O you who believe, believe in Allah and his messenger and the book which he has sent to his messenger and the book which he sent before and who denies Allah, his angels, his books, his messenger and the day of judgment has gone far, far astray. And the question is this, if the book is one and Quran, Torah and Injil are its attributes, then which are those books mentioned in this ayah? Okay. You, you see, first of all, we, we, I read again for you. You see, in the Arabic also, you look, Ya yuladin amanu. It is referred to the believers. Yes. Aminu billahi wa rasuli. Believe with Allah and His Messenger. Wal kitab, in singular. Wal kitab illadi nazzala ala rasuli. Wal kitab, is singular, the book that is revealed over His Messenger. That, the kal kitab, that was revealed over the Messenger. Wal kitab means the book. Alladi that nazzala ala rusi that reveal over his messenger. This kitab. Okay. The further it says, Wal kitab alladi anzala min qabal. It doesn't say any other book. It says again the book. And the, and the, and the book that was revealed from before. So it's Allah is saying in this ayah that, Oh, you believe, believe. Believe with Allah. And the message is messenger and Al Kitab Al Ladi Nazala Rasuli. The Kitab, the book was revealed over his messenger. And Al Fala says, An Al Kitab Al Ladi Anzala Min Kabal. That means that their book was revealed from before. So we have to be believe two things that the book was revealed on the message of Muhammad Rasulullah and the book was revealed from before also. So it, it, no, no other book is mentioned. It is the same book that it was revealed over you, the messenger. Now we have to believe that. And again it says the book was revealed from before. So means this book was revealed before. But again further it says, وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَ And whoever rejects with Allah and his angels in plural, وَكُتُبِهِ in plural, وَرُسُلِهِ in plural, وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَقَضَّ اللَّهِ ذَلَالًا بَعِيدًا And whoever denies Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers and in the hereafter has gone far astray. So the question, your question is, what are Allah's books? When the Torah is an attribute, Injil is an attribute, Zabur is an attribute, all these are the qualitative names. Like Allah with above 100 attributes are not 100 Allahs. Allah is described by above 100 attributes. And the, the, the Torah, Injil, Quran, Furqan, Burhan, Sultan, Hikmat, Nazil, Kalam, Wahi are all attributes of the book. But what are, here it is referred as books. What are the books? So now if you open, if you look in the Quran, Surah al bayyina that is 98 Surah. We are trying to understand what are the books mentioned in this ayah. In Arabic, Kutub means books. Kitab means one book, Kitab means singular, one book. And Kutub means books, many books, plural. So in Surah Al-Bayyah 98 and Ayah 2 and 3, I read for you, Rasulun min Allah yatlu suhufam mutahara fiha kutubun qayyima. A messenger from Allah, a Rasul, a messenger from Allah, he recites pages purified. In the pages are books, writing established. So this, this I hold in my hand is a book. And you see these are the pages. You see pages? The, I hold in my hand is a book and it contains pages. So Allah says, Rasul from Allah, Rasulum min Allah, Rasul from Allah, Yatlu, he recites, Suhuf, pages. Suhuf means, Sahifa means one page, Suhuf means pages. He recites pages. He is reciting pages. Mutahara, purified pages. They are not ordinary pages, they are purified pages. 
in the pages that the messenger excuse me in the pages that the messenger was reciting in the pages that messenger was reciting i'm asking you what the messenger recites ayas ayas rabbana wa ba'ath fihim rasulan minhum yatlu alayhim ayatika o oh, our lord appoint a messenger among them who recite your ayats ayat messenger recite the ayats so here allah say yatlu is the same word recite suhuf means pages pages mutahara so he recites pages purified pages purified he is reciting pages purified so the messenger is reciting pages purified he is reciting what ayats in the pages contains what this page contains what ayats to so, further say fi ha kutubun in the pages in the pages are books or in the pages are ayats ayats books means written down or writ books means writings books means writings or written uh, books mean books or writings qayyam established so the messengers are reciting the ayats so the books will be how many ayats are in the quran 6000 Two hundred thirty-seven, three hundred twenty-seven, two hundred thirty-seven, two hundred thirty-seven, six thousand two hundred thirty-seven ayats. The messengers are reciting in the pages are the ayats written down. That was messenger Salaam Salaam Muhammad Salaam Salaam recited. So we can believe the book of Allah contains ayat, muhkamat, or mutashabiyat, and all these ayats are recited by the messenger. in the pages pages contains all the pages contains the ayats so every ayat is a book of allah so there are no four books in the whole quran there is no letter four books the books are the ayats all the ayats of allah are the books so you believe as a book of allah as one book of allah or you believe as the books, books of allah I means 6237 ayats they are the books of allah but the amazing part is when i was telling you about the bible the bible contains books this i hold in my hand is a book but i open this bible and i list, I, i look at the uh, the beginning it contains the old testament and the new testament and there are 73 books the first page i showed you they say every it should be a chapter genesis is a book exodus is a book Leviticus is a book Deuteronomy is a book in the books is in the book so the books that contains the verses in the bible is also a book of allah or stuff of allah books books there are books so in the pages there are books so there is a book in the, in in the in the bible there is a book which is a single page a book of jonah one page is a book so they believe in a in a page the verses that are written is, is is the book so similarly the quran allah speaking the rasulun min allah rasul comes from allah yatlu suhuf mutara he recites recites the pages purified and in the pages fi ha kutubun qayyima in the pages are the books and all the ayas that he recites are the books qayyima established so your question was what are the books so you must understand that all the ayats that the messenger recited are the books of allah or we can say the all together as a book of allah there no, no mention of four but the names that i referred to in the beginning i read so many attributes are the uh, attributes of the book the torah injil quran furqan buran sultan hikmat they are the attributes thank okay Assalamu alaikum. Assalam. My name is Mrs. Maheen Yasser. Uh, the question I want to ask is in reference with uh, Surah Fatah 48, uh, Ayah 29. Uh, if it's not the mark on the forehead which is being discussed, then why it is specifically mentioned with prostration? No, uh, prostration is the total submission. You know, if the marks, if referred to some uh, like bowing, so that bowing is a, a, a half. Uh, half submission prostration is referred as a total complete submission the body language in the body language if if if, if i say uh, i agree 
So if I just bow to you, that means I'm agreeing, but not totally. You know, in Qayyam, in physical I'm talking about, first of all, we understand in established, when we pray to Salah, when we pray Salah, we, 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 in the, in the, in the Salah I'm talking about, in the prayer, we say Allahu Akbar, and we catch our hands, meaning our hands are now no, huh? tied, our hands are tied. So, so we have to, we can't pray like this. We have to pray by, by tying our hands. Meaning the psychologically and physically our hands are tied up. That's the first starting of prostration or first uh, starting of submission like this. Now when I recite the ayahs, so I am reciting the ayahs and I am following the essence and I am following the, the essence of the ayat. So my hands are tied up. And I, when I listen to it, I have to agree and bow down. So I bow. So that is a half submission bowing. And then finally I stand up and I go prostrate my, put my forehead on the ground. That is showing bodily that I have completely prostrated or completely submitted totally. That is the complete total submission. Right. So the reference that I and the faces you will see the marks of prostration is total submission. Not it means half. physically, physical marks like the way we uh, prostrate. It means that. No, I didn't say that. I then didn't say it. Otherwise, this this would it would have you see marks on the forehead. Right. It would have mentioned forehead. But here, like uh, with faces, uh, there's a slash and uh, written personalities. Ah, that I refer to you personally. Why I've written this because people uh, should understand that the, when you Allah, if would have if would have a physical prostration, he would have said on your their forehead you can see the marks. Right. But in the face I referred in the, I, in the Quran also that everything will be, f will be finished except the waj of Allah. The waj, there, in Arabic waj means face and many places waj is representing the personality. So we'll take it as personality not yes. as physical face basically. Not, no, not physical face as the personality. Personality. You will see marks in the personality of that person okay. of prostration that means he's totally in submission that means he has his, uh, his soul is being purchased by Allah. He is no more his own ego. He's, he's been, he's been, he's sell off his personality. Can you give me an example? What of, example? Of this. How can I recognize somebody? I told you, I told you if, if I've sold this, if I sold this, it's not mine. He takes it. I can't go and after my, it's mine. When Allah purchased any person, or if, if you are submitting to anybody, you cannot react or act to him or her. That is total control. You can see in day-to-day in day -day life, if you are a married person, if you are married, if you, you have to follow your husband in certain rules and regulations, but still you can react, you know. But in Allah, if He has purchased your psychology, that means you, can, you cannot uh, say do of your own, uh, except what Allah wills. That's Muslim definition of Muslim is this, you have to totally submission to the will of Allah. We say by language, with letters, with, with words, but if you really have totally submitted, that means Allah has purchased yourself and then you have to fight in the way of Allah and then you have to kill and then you get killed. So in that context, if you will understand, that is what Allah says that in the faces you will see the marks of prostration. That means you will never find any person in that person his own ego except what Allah commands him to do so. That is the identification and the behavior is mentioned. They are, they, they are uh, merciful amongst each amongst other. Each other and strong against the unbelievers. Right. That is the character. But if you see people are fighting in the name of Allah and Muhammad Sallallahu killing each other, so that is, the, that, is not, that is not the mark in their personalities. So for example, the people who have uh, a triangle sort of mark, three marks over here, like if you see in the world, but they are doing jihad and they are fighting and killing people, so that's not the mark we should understand. I'm telling you, now, I'm telling you the marks that they are, I'm not talking about the jihadis or what you are referring to. I'm saying the mark that they should be merciful each other. Any person who is taking the name this of This should mark, be the criteria basically. The, the, that's what I'm saying. That is the mark. That is the mark of recognition, of prostration. That if person is strong against the unbeliever and merciful amongst each other, that is the behavior. So they are seeking the bounty of Allah. And if you see in the world that people are taking the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and killing each other, who is also saying that I am also a follower of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that is not the recognition, that is, that is not the mark right. in, his, in his personality, in his face. You can see his face and you can understand that this person is not merciful amongst each other and is 
strong against the unbeliever. He's not like that. He's, he's against me. He's against me. You can see the mark. The example is that you can see in the world. You can look around. You can see how many people are say, calling themselves Muslim and what the people are showing their behavior and character. So that is the mark you have to identify yourself and others as well. They, I don't have to, you don't have to say, I don't I want to give you the example. The example can be seen by yourself easily. Right. In Thank your you circles. We can say in other words, we have to kill our egos. Very good. Right. Even if you try, unless Allah doesn't purchase, you will not be able to do so. That is dependent. And remember, we are trying our level best. But the actual is Allah purchased the believers. When his psyche is gone, he's gone. You are, you are right. Believe me, you spoke the truth. But the question, we are already trying that Allah should purchase us on the day of, we don't want to burn the fire. But the character that we have to build is that he must, until less, Allah knows that you are really submitting. Otherwise, the egos is there. So, ego is creating many problems. <laughs>